just between you and me? He has a gas problem. Oof. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the G1 Octane. So here we are, and there he is, and usually, first and foremost, I would take a quick look at the packaging, but I don't have the packaging for this guy, but I do have, uh, I have a box of, uh, fabric softener sheets. Purifying waters. So, moving right along. Here we have G1 Octane, but before we talk about the figure, let us first bring in the all-wise, the all-knowing, the all-powerful, the Transformers Bible. The Transformers Identification and Price Guide from Mark Bellamo. And if we open our Bibles to page 120, here we have Octane. His function, fueler. His motto, he who has fuel has power. A greedy, mean-spirited bully enjoys watching fellow Decepticons become painfully inoperative from lack of fuel, forces Autobots off roads and aerial bots to abort landings just for fun. Wow, he's like people on the internet. Crashes make him laugh. He's really like people on the internet. In jet mode, range 700 miles, maximum speed 750 miles per hour. In tanker mode, range 65,000 miles, maximum speed. 90 miles per hour, carries 10,000 gallons of fuel, carries fuel-powered flamethrower, and a deflecto shield. So now that we know something about the character, let's take a look at the figure itself. So here we have G1 Octane. Now, full disclosure, this is a knockoff G1 Octane because it was cheap. So I picked it up. It's not too bad, though, quality-wise. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah. Here is a G1 Octane in his tanker truck mode, and yeah, not the most successful. It's just, it's just, it's, it's just, but you yeah, know, not great, but hey, it is what it is. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Nice big sticker right there on the hood with a Decepticon symbol. You get some stickers down the side. You can see the smokestacks there just picked out in silver. Yes, the robot mode arms are just hanging out there. For the instructions, that is exactly how they are supposed to be. Okay, now you have this old back section here done in chrome. Now the funny thing about this knockoff is it didn't come with all of the stickers. It did not come with the stickers for the uh, for the wings. So, mines are bare, unfortunately. I have bare wings, but oh well. It came with the other stickers, just not the wing stickers. But, uh, it's a knockoff. But anyway, sticker detailing up here, sticker detailing on the back. There is the top, there is the bottom. He rolls, as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with Astro Train. Here he is with Blitzwing. Just because, here he is with his buddy Sandstorm. And here he is with G1 Optimus Prime. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his gun, just done all in purple. It's a very G1 gun here, this flamethrower. So you got that, and you also have the, uh, the tail fin slash shield for the jet mode. And as far as storage goes, it's a G1 toy! Who cares about storage? Actually, you could store this <laughs> if you wanted to. I don't care about it, but you know what? I'll show it anyway. You can, you know, put the gun there if you want. You can put the tail fin there. I don't know. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. I don't know. But ultimately, it's a G1 toy. Who cares about storage? Anyway, of course, the most important feature is the... Uh, is the rub sign and it's it's warm down here today it's a pretty hot day today so as you can see the uh the rub sign is already it's it's already going it's already there so i don't really have to do too much there you go hey it's a decepticon i'm gonna rub it anyway ah! <laughs> the people who would normally get upset are probably like it's a knockoff so i don't care this time you know yeah, yeah. 
you know, people are fickle. It is what it is. But yes, there is Octane's truck mode. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Hey, you get a good spin out of him. So to transform him into his jet mode, I'm going to take this whole armature here, the armature with the arms, and bring them up. We're going to take these sections here and unpack them and bring them together. Flip out the tail fins. This whole section here will just click upwards like that. And then we can unpeg the wings here from the sides. Take this section off. It just clips in there. There you go. Pull that off. Put that off to the side. And which way are we going with the wings? We're going this way with the wings. Just bring them around. Bring them around, and then you just bring the arms down, like so, and like so. And then we just take this whole section here and rotate this around, like that. And then we do have to uh, open this back up, because we take the tail fin and it just wedges in between these two sections here. Put that together. And there you go. There you have Octane in his jet mode. And his jet mode looks way better than the truck mode. I really like the jet mode. I think, personally, this looks pretty good for a G1 figure. And for a triple changer, that actually works out pretty well, in my opinion. Granted, his arms and his hands are still right there, just staring you in the face. But you know what? All in all, though, not to shabby uh, stickers there for the cockpit. Got some stripage going down the sides as well. Wheels just hanging up top there. You got this gap back here, which you can't do anything about. Hey, it's for storage. There you go. Woo, storage. I don't know. I, 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 don't, know. I don't know. Again, the wings are bare because I didn't get the wing stickers with this knockoff, but oh well. <laughs> But yeah, all in all, I do quite like the jet mode. I think that actually works out pretty well, as far as I'm concerned. And for comparison, again, we keep the comparisons. G1 in these G1 reviews. Here he is with Astro Train. With Blitzwing. With Sandstorm. And with Prime. So, there you go! So that is basically it for the jet mode. So let's get back down to transformation again, shall we? <laughs> so to get him into robot mode, we are going to first start off with removing this piece, putting that off to the side, bringing these, where are we going? We're going, nope, we're going this way. Folding these back up like so, bringing these back. Having those back in, we can then fold this down. I will reveal his noggin. Just gonna bring the arms up and over, like so. Up and over, up and over, like that. Which are pretty stiff on this guy. And then we take this section here, just flip this around. This will form his feet, and then we just split the legs, like so, and I think you're supposed to, I don't know, this seems like it's supposed to shift forward, but it doesn't go any further than that, I don't know, again, this is a knockoff, so maybe it's supposed to work, but it doesn't, I don't know, it's, see how that kind of shifts a little bit, I don't know, I don't know about that, but anyway, the, the official instructions don't say anything about this moving forward, so I don't know, maybe it's supposed to, maybe it isn't, I don't know, I don't care, he stands just fine, but there is Octane in his robot mode! And he's blocky, he's boxy, he's awkward looking, but hey, it's a G1 figure! What do you expect, really? What do you expect? There's <laughs> Octane, let's get in close here! Oh, and that's not good. You do get some silver paint there on the face. Not a bad head sculpt. You can see his big old, just giant wide chest there. There's the old purple arms. And his weird legs. 
with his weird feet, if you want to call them feet. <laughs> I moved them back. Not really much to really talk about here. Articulation-wise, the head doesn't do anything. The arms can rotate. They can move up and down. They can rotate. You can get some articulation there. He does have a double-jointed elbow, which is pretty cool. You know, you got that going on. Uh, as far as the waist, again, I don't know if this is supposed to move in any way. I don't know. I ain't going to force anything. And, uh, you know, his, 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 his foot can do that. I don't know. They can, I mean, it's a thing that moves if you need it to move. But, hey, that's pretty much it. And, of course, we can give him all of his accoutrement. We can give him... There's flamethrower here, so you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, actually you don't pew pew and bang bang with a flamethrower, you kind of just foosh foosh, burn burn, foosh foosh, burn burn, that's more what it does, but anyway. And we can take the uh, tail fin here, and that will split open, and this will become his deflecto shield, you can see some stickers in there as well, he's very colorful, he's a colorful guy. And you can just, in this pin, <laughs> like so just come right out, it's a knockoff, hey, whatever, it was cheap. <laughs> You can just plug that into his hand like that if you want to, or per the instructions, they actually want you to uh, plug it into his hand like this, like bring his arm up like this, and actually plug it into the bottom of his hand like that, which does work a bit better if you want to use it as a shield, so I think that works a lot better as far as I'm concerned. And you can give him this part here of the tanker, and you can just kind of peg this onto his arm there place for it to go if you need it to go somewhere and act as another blah, blah, blah. this is where my tongue stops working this can act as another shield if you want hey things you can do if you want to do them so there you have that and now for comparison here he is with the wing of blitz with the train of astro with the storm of sand with the Prime of Optimus. And with the Crotch of Trigger. So, there you go. So there you have Octane, another oldie but a goodie on this Friday G1 fun day. And uh, yeah, the truck mode, the truck mode sucks. The truck mode is not good at all. Um, the jet mode, I think, is way better. Um, the robot mode is exactly what a G1 robot mode should be. It's boxy, it's blocky, it's bulky, it's awkward. But hey, it's G1, and we love it anyway. So there you go. Now I picked up this knockoff from eBay, but uh, of course, for your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my G1 playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the G1 Octane, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face. Wow, I can't believe you're actually letting me into the Decepticon base. <laughs> Aren't you worried I'm going to do, you know, spy things? Ah, nah, you're cool. Hey, look at this. Ah! What was that noise? Oh, you're on your own, buddy. Thanks. You're such a good friend.